Okay, so the Paralpia Plus operator terminals. Um, these Paralpia Plus combines the best features of the popular Paralpia standard screens and the Paralpia E operator interface products that adds new functionality. With these Paralpia Plus uh, screens, you can do trending, expressions, data logging, animation. You can use RSP Studio Direct browsing of our logic 5,000 addresses, and then you can do multi-vendor communication. So the Panel View Plus screen, like I said before, it's an actual uh, CE Windows computer, and it's extremely powerful. And so when I do the RS View Studio um, software package, I'll include the Panel View Plus. Um, Panel View Plus CE operator terminals, Rockwell Automation, Panel View Plus CE computers, Combine the solid state hardware of Panel View Plus with the open platform flexibility of a Windows Panel View Plus CE computer. The advantages are high environmental specifications, modular design for flexibility and inventory reduction, and high bright display available for light intensive applications. So these are very, very good looking screens, a little bit more pricey, but they do a, a heck of a job. The PanelView E operator terminals, um, the PanelView 1400E and CRT graphic terminals offer optimum color VGA and SVGA pixel graphics and high performance advantages. The PanelView 1000E offers the same high performance advantages in a compact flat panel VGA uh, package. Um, I used one of these screens, it was quite some time ago, on a Ross LaFon. Uh, in guitar, it was a large gas plant. Uh, it, basically, what we did was we had a large uh, electrochloration generator, and with this one screen, I was able to control a tremendously large plant. It, it is a very powerful screen. The only drawback is, is if it fails or if it breaks, um, they're hard to get a hold of. So I don't even know if they make these anymore. With the panel view the operators, you. Obviously, you get all these modules that you can snap in there, these communication modules, so you, it's not a problem. You do Data Highway Plus, Remote I.O., Control Net Options. These are all available communications with automatic control logics, PLC5, SWIFT 500 controllers. Both the Panelview 1000E and the 1400D terminals are available in a touchscreen or a keypad and are designed to satisfy, satisfy the most demanding process control applications. Uh, like I said, these screens, can, they're really a workhorse, and, and they're able to hold a tremendous amount of data. And so, you know, if you're thinking about going to a wonder on a screen or some type of a DCS, um, you know, application, you might consider this screen if you've got that much I.O. Um, this screen you can easily handle, you know, 2,000 points on a PLC and be able to display it real nice. This little screen right here, the Panelview standard operator terminals come in 300, the 300 micro, the 550, the 600, and the 1000. They're engineered for maximum performance and space saving flat panel designs. These electronic uh, operator interfaces feature brilliant graphic capabilities, high performance functionality, and color, grayscale, and monochrome displays. The little monochrome uh, micro 300 um, is a, an excellent little screen. Um, especially if you have a, a product line that you want to keep manufacturing and keep the cost real low. You can get one of these little micro 300s for about a hundred bucks. The PanelView standard operator terminals you use Panel Builder 32 programming software. It's a universal language support, so you can cover all of the different PanelView standard panels. You can't use Panel Builder 32 on like a 1400E. Uh, you have a universal language support. You have the APA PC memory card that you can snap in the back and uh, download the programs without even pulling out a laptop. It has screen security features. They have this 12 display combinations from 3 inch to the 10 inch, point-to-point uh, -point and network communication capability, including Ethernet IP communication. So they really are a strong little screen, and um, I've had a lot of good luck with them. And the neat thing about these panel new standards are is that they are class 1 div 2. What that means is that you can put them in a hazardous area without any special attention. You can just drop them in a regular NEMA 4X box if you want. And as long as everything inside the box is either uh, purge or it's, it's suitable for class 1 div 2, then you can get that panel certified for a class 1 div 2 area. The 
the Panel Builder 32 software. Panel Builder 32 version 3.82 now supports resizable bitmaps and contains an updated color palette with 32 selections. Users can explicitly select color mapping when convey, uh, converting an application from one terminal type to another. Also, support for tag search when used and purge functions have been added to the tag editor. Um, I'll show you that later uh, as far as the tag editor is concerned. I didn't really cover a lot of color screens in this uh, program. Um, the reason I didn't do it is because you can, you, you can write code in one screen and then you can turn around and drag the information into another screen. You can open two screens at a time at the same time and then you can take data from one screen, copy it, paste it into the next screen, including screens themselves, um, push buttons, uh, all kinds of different things. So once you understand how to use the Panel Builder 32 software on a, let's say a Micro 300, you can do it all the way up to the, you know, the uh, Panel Builder or Panel View 1000s. The Panel Builder 32 will run on Microsoft Windows XP, 2000, 95, 98, and NT operating systems. I happen to be running it on a uh, Microsoft Windows Vista system. And uh, the only troubles that I have sometimes is when I go to the help screens and look up things. It doesn't, for some reason, understand me. Or I, it has a hard time with a text editor or something, but it seems to work okay. I, I don't really seem to have any problems with it at all. It uses the Windows graphical interface, color palettes, pre-configured symbols, objects, and graphics easily to create new applications or reuse existing app screens, configurations, developed for other panel view scan terminals. And that, like I said, that's a neat thing because once you have a few sample programs or things that you like to do, you can just drag them between new applications and old applications. It's real simple that way. And uh, it's, a, it's a fairly user-friendly software package. It's not real complicated. The Panel Builder 32 software is compatible with MicroLogix. The MicroLogix is uh, used for Logix 500 to program MicroLogix PLCs. It's compatible with Control Logix and Compact Logix PLCs, as well as Flex Logix PLCs. And you use the Ars Logix 5000 to program those. The slick and the, pill, the slick is the slick 500, like the 501, 502, 503, 504, and 505, and you use the RS Logics 500 software for that as well. Um, it supports the PLC controller platforms, and it supports tag import for RS Logics 5000 control net tag names, predefined data types, and descriptions. Um, something I didn't mention at the beginning of this course is. I, I assume that you've already taken the RS Logics 500 course at least. So I don't really, I, you know, I started using tag names and I started using addresses that you would use in RS Logics 500. And I just assume that you know those tag names. So on, um, if you don't understand those tag names or what I'm talking about, you need to go ahead and go back to this tour and purchase the RS Logics 500 course. For the best deal, you can get the RS Logics 500 and 5000 course for $99 in the store, so that's probably the best deal. And um, you can, like I pointed out before, you can move copy objects and screens when developing a new application. Often it's easier to reuse information and create it from scratch. And uh, that's the neat thing about this. You can actually take from older screens pieces that you like, like a bitmap or a picture or uh, maybe you want to take a push button or some type of control or, or even messages and you want to just import them into your new project. And this is a really easy application for that. With Panel Builder 32 software, you can move or copy objects from one screen to another, even if the screens are in different applications. So that means that if you have a uh, micro, logic or micro 300 uh, panel view screen, you can actually import that or bring that into a larger screen, or you can go from a larger screen down to a smaller screen, and you can use a lot of the same objects. Um, also, you can move the copy screens between applications. When uh, moving objects or screens between two display sizes or between monochrome and color displays, Panel Builder 32 the software automatically converts the objects for you, so you don't have to worry about will it work or not. 